SpaceX just delivered beat up Raptors to its McGregor test site. What's up with that? If you're a longtime NSF watcher, you may know we have a McGregor Live 24 7 stream. McGregor is SpaceX's development and test site, and it's where the company fires up pretty much every single engine they make, including Falcon 9 first and second stages. So we have our cameras taking a look at those tests, and we write down when they happen. Recently, we repositioned some of our cameras to a new location because SpaceX is now testing at a new test stand. This site is close to one of the roads within the site, which means that ever since we put it there, we spotted all sorts of hardware rolling by. Merlin engines, Raptor engines, Falcon 9 first and second stages, and also a bunch of other weird hardware. But this is the first time since we moved our cameras that we've seen wrecked engines like these arriving at McGregor. Puzzling, isn't it? Three beat up Raptors really badly damaged arriving at SpaceX's development and test facility. Where could these possibly be coming from? Well, you may have seen our recent video here on Breaking Space where we reported on a suspicious vessel that had come into port and had been working off the coast of Mexico to quote, load rocket parts. Well, that ship has since come into the port of Brownsville and it was indeed carrying the remains of a Starship booster, Booster 13. That booster flew on Starship's sixth flight and diverted offshore. And this past week, its aft section, with its Raptor engines attached, arrived at the Massey's test site just a few miles from Starbase. NSF's Jack Byer took these images of that recovered piece of hardware shortly after it arrived, and it's already been a few days since then. So, with that in mind, it wouldn't be impossible to think that perhaps SpaceX took some of those engines and sent them to McGregor. But are they really for Booster 13? Take a closer look at these engines, and the ones on Booster 13. The engines on 13 spent about eight months underwater, and the inside of the nozzles turned greenish-blue, perhaps from a chemical reaction with the inner copper liner. The inside of the nozzles of the engines at McGregor don't seem to have that same color. In fact, they almost look like they're toasty, and frankly, they're a lot more beat up than the engines on 13. Like, for example, even the worst looking engine nozzle on 13 still looks better than these three engines. Jack also just took this more recent shot of Booster 13 aft section like a few hours ago, and we can spot pretty much almost all of the engines still attached. Only five are invisible because they're out of view, but you could also see that the ones closer to the bottom are the ones in best shape, something that doesn't match with how beat up these engines look. So if not 13, what else? Well, if you recall from last month, this happened. When Ship 36 exploded a few weeks ago, it also took out its engines and probably did a lot of damage to them. SpaceX quickly began cleaning up the Massey test site after the explosion and has in fact already started renovating and upgrading the site. So it could also be that these are the three sea level Raptor engines that were installed on Ship 36 and SpaceX is bringing them to McGregor after having cleaned them up at Massey's. This would explain not just why they're so damaged, but also the oddly burnt look they have. But hang on a second, why are they transporting these to McGregor? That's a fair question, but think about it. McGregor is where SpaceX tests its engines, including Raptor, so they have engineers that know them from pump to nozzle, and they'll be able to look at them, take them apart, and learn a lot. Or, who knows, maybe they're not even that useful. McGregor has its own scrapyard, which SpaceX uses to store old hardware they no longer use. We've seen this via the flyover pictures from our friend Gary Blair at McGregor, and there is a lot of old Falcon and Starship hardware there. We also spotted engines of the past at McGregor near the Raptor hangar, that were from used boosters, and also Booster 11, the other one that had its aft section recovered from the water. So what do you think? Are these from Booster 13, Ship 36, maybe another vehicle we haven't thought of yet? Let us know in the comments down below. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe for more stories like this here in Breaking Space, where we break down the latest news and stories in space. I'm Zoe Rosenstein for Breaking Space. Thanks for watching.